Hey guys, it's me, Ango here. Hi. Hello. Today, I'm gonna do a special makeup tutorial. I like to try comparing Korean Idol and actor makeup. While both are celebrity makeup, the makeup style is very different. Idols usually wear very fancy makeup, while actors wear very natural makeup. They have very different makeup looks, so I like to show you a tutorial while comparing them. So first is the face makeup. In the case of base makeup for actors, they usually use a slightly glossy and natural base makeup rather than a matte base with high coverage. In the case of base makeup for idols, rather than going for a natural skin look, they use products with a certain amount of coverage to create a clean and neat looking skin expression. Durability is also very important because they have to do a lot of movements in a short amount of time. For the base makeup for the actors, I use Hinz's Second Skin Foundation. These days, there is a method for applying on base makeup with the use of a spatula which has been popular with many celebrities. In this way, you can create a lighter and more natural skin expression. I uploaded a video for this makeup tutorial, so if you want to know more about this tutorial, please check the link above. For the idol base makeup, I used Hera's Silky Stay Foundation. Apply it on thinly and quickly from the inside of the cheeks with a foundation brush. Then, tap it with a sponge or puff to adhere it on. Apply a thin layer to the areas that need a little more coverage. You want to apply this on in a small amount because if you apply on a large amount at once, it can clump together. Next is eye makeup and eyeshadow. In the case of an actor's eye makeup, the overall look is natural without being too dark. So we want to make it natural with dark brown color rather than black. In the case of Idol's eye makeup, we want it to look really glamorous since the eye makeup gives the most points. For some reason, many people tend to follow Idol eye makeup looks. For my actress eye makeup look, I'll use Wake Mix Mix Blurring Eye Palette No. 5 Botanic Garden. I chose this palette because there are more natural colors than dark and fancy colors. I didn't use all the colors in this palette, but only a few natural shades. Rather than using dark shades to make the eyes stand out, you just need to make the makeup feel like it only makes the features a little more distant than usual. For the idol makeup, I'm going with Clio's Shade and Shadow Palette No. 2 Soft Depth. This is a palette with a range of reddish and pinkish shades for gorgeous eye makeup. I feel that reddish and pinkish colors would look slightly more glamorous rather than just brown. If you shaded the eyes with a matte shadow and defined the eyes, you can create gorgeous points with shimmers or glitters. For the eyeliner, it's better to use a shadow color rather than a brush pen which would be too thick for actor makeup. Rather than strong vivid lines, actors use a lot of naturally blended lines and prefer deep browns rather than blacks. Rather than filling in the gaps between the eyelashes, it's better to apply it only at the tip. It's also better to draw it in a shape that blends naturally with the eye rather than being too long or with the tail raised. Idols go for clearer eyeliners and draw longer eye lines than their actor counterparts. Durability is important for them, so they use a lot of long-lasting product. It's better to have a shape that naturally fits the eye rather than an eyeliner that goes up or down too much. Rather than drawing only on the corners of the eyes, fill in the gaps between the eyelashes to make the eyes look more vivid and clearer. I also draw fake lashes to the lower eyelid line with edits to X tinting eyeliner soft deep brown. I'm gonna follow up by using a curler on my lashes before applying on the mascara. For actor makeup, it's better to lightly curl the lashes so that they rise naturally rather than curling it on too tight. For idol makeup, it's better to raise the eyelashes a bit tighter. For the mascara, I'll use Pear Pear Simple Lane Slim Mascara for both looks. For the actor makeup, I'll apply it on lightly to make the eyes look slightly clearer. As for the idol makeup, I'll apply the mascara on thoroughly to create a longer and fuller expression. These days, there are some people who use tweezers to hold the eyelashes pinch by pinch to create the points. In the case of eyebrows, I use shadows because it would draw very natural eyebrows for the actor makeup. I'm gonna make it a little rounder so that the brows don't go too high. It's better to blend and draw naturally rather than to create a vivid eyebrow shape. For the idol makeup, I use Dinto's Dante 1x1 Brow Definer 422 Pantera. It's a natural eyebrow shape, but I drew it in a slightly more defined shape. You can think of it as a round shape with slightly raised eyebrows. And to give it the same more natural look to both look, I used the brow cara which is similar to my hair color. Now I'm gonna add on some blush. For the actor makeup, I used the color from the palette I used before for the eye makeup to do the blush. I applied it lightly to the center of my cheekbones for natural and lively look. Then, with the remaining amount on the brush, I lightly swept the outer edges of the face to liven up the overall complexion of my face. 
For idol makeup, I use Pear Pear's Pure Blood Sunshine Cheek No. 5 Dusky Rose. I applied it on slightly heavily for a slight flush. The lightning on the stage tends to be quite strong, so most idols tend to apply their blushes on thickly. Now I'm gonna do the outer shading. I'll be using About Tone's Turn On Shading No. 1 Warm Shade. For the makeup of the actors, I only added a little natural shade. For the idol makeup, I made it a slight bit darker so they'll look natural with the rest of my makeup since overall look is colorful and deep. I also added a bit to my hairlines so that my face doesn't like pop out. Lastly, for my lips, I used Daisy's Juicy Dewy Tint. I used the number 5 Moth Berry color for the actor look. Since I'm going for a natural, lively, and moist lip look, I'll apply it on once. I used two colors for idol makeup, number 4 Plum Dew and number 5 Moth Berry. Since the thick and saturated fill goes well with the colorful makeup, I applied number 5 as a base over lip and then applied number 4 only on the inside of the lips for gradation. Like this, my actor makeup and idol makeup are done. I took a tutorial while comparing actor makeup and idol makeup like this. While both idols and actors are celebrities, the way they do their makeup and the way they present themselves are very different. Since many people are going for the idol look these days, if you want to enjoy a colorful idol-like look rather than a natural look like those that actors wear, I think it'd be good to try by referring to today's video. So my video is still here. Thank you for watching my video today. Don't forget to subscribe, press the like buttons, and please leave some comments for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.